Our country has a lot of problems right now, but one thing is absolutely for sure. Americans can't afford Bidenomics. I mean, I don't have to tell you this. You already know this. Prices are up about 17% since Joe Biden took office. Grocery prices are up 20%. Gas prices are up 50%. Every single day, the American people can't afford Bidenomics. Is it getting any better? No. I mean, people love to say, oh, inflation's coming down. But you and I both know the truth. If something went up $2.50 last year and only 50 cents this year, you're still complaining because the price went up $3, not because it's growing slower than it was before. That's the problem with Bidenomics. It's hitting everybody. Our credit card debt is at a historic high of a trillion dollars. People's paychecks aren't keeping up. They're having to take out of their retirement. Some people can't even afford to get a new home. These are all the failures of Bidenomics. And it wasn't that way just a few years ago. Inflation, 1.4%. Gas, $2.39 a gallon the day Joe Biden took office. Don't forget it.